This is Scott from KIG. It is Tuesday, November 11th, 2014. And this is going to be the first of a few videos of a uh, powering up and runoff and just a simple test of this Mold Man 8000 machine. We did just uh, power it up uh, moments ago. We're just waiting for the uh, waiting for the manifold and the reservoir to heat up. Um, and as you can see there on the screen, it'll tell you the temperature is too low. We have the set point of the reservoir set at 400F and the set point of the manual uh, manifold also set at uh, 400F. Um, and we do have a, uh, a mold in the machine and we're going to ship it like that also. We don't have cables that are going to go in the mold, but it's going to be able to, uh, we'll be able to show you that it's actually going to make, uh, make parts. This unit does have the, uh, uh, the optional um, easy light safety bar here, which is nice. So you have these two palm buttons or, or finger buttons to activate the uh, up and down motion and the, um, and the injection of the mold. Included with this chiller is this, uh, I'm sorry, included with this mold man is this PolyScience chiller. That's uh, 115 volts. And you just have simple connections right in the back here. Um, this is the open position. And it's going to ship uh, uh, with these connections here. You just, just push, to, push to connect. And this, this is the drain. The chiller will ship with uh, some glycol solution already in it. And as mentioned, that's just regular 115 volts. Uh, so you have air that comes to the mold man here. We do have the cabinet open up here. Just so you can see the PLC, VFD, everything looks really clean. Working good. Um, this unit, again, is a mold man 8000. With the table, with casters, with the light bar as mentioned. I think you can see that there. Serial number 040131. Um, 04 does not indicate the year. This is somewhere between a 2006 and 2007 and a half, I'm thinking. Um, you can check with Mold Man, but uh, the important thing is that it's the newer, the newer 04 series. We do have the cover for the top, but I took it off just so you can see the, I guess the ram set here for the uh, up and down clamp motion. That's the very strong casting. Even though it's not a high pressure machine, you still need a casting to, with some strength to support that up and down clamp motion. Uh, and the pneumatics and so forth for the uh, injection and the, uh, and the clamp motion and the ejectors too. This mold does not have uh, ejectors, but the, we did check the ejector motion, it works fine. Here's our reservoir. Um, it's got a little bit of the uh, macro melt material in there now. You can feel it heating up. The good thing, interesting thing about the Mold Man is you can mold parts and they don't have to be uh, scrapped, doesn't have to be reground. It just gets thrown right back into the, uh, this reservoir, if you will, and it'll melt and heat up accordingly. So we'll be back for video number two momentarily.